I'm just going to faff around with this for a tick. Actually, that's probably okay, isn't it? I'm just going, I am going to do some faffing because I feel that I have to. I've spent 33 years at it. I'm a little bit nervous, which you can probably tell by the trembling of my body and, in fact, the trembling of my voice. And, and I don't have my coat, hold on. A little sugary security blanket. Um, <laughs> um, my, on account of being I'm nervous for a number of good reasons. I'm not nervous because of Friday the 13th, because um, I never know which date it is. Somebody only just said that to me earlier. I thought, oh, I've got far worse things to worry about. First of all, you characters are really difficult to make laugh. And it's just, see, nothing there. Um, <laughs> and the only guy who has made you laugh is Patrick. And so the only person I'm more scared of than you is him. Um, and my reason for being scared is very simple, in that I'm essentially completely unprepared. And any sort of decent human being would take this on the chin and admit that it was their own fault. But I'm going to blame somebody else. And in a particularly cowardly move, I'm going to blame my 15-week-old son, whose name is Finn. I oh, know, how appalling is that? Because when I sit with him and play him a song or, you know, just wave my hand, he loves that. He just gives me this massive, cheesy smile and I think, I'm great. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to prepare an overall comedy because I'm bloody fantastic. Like, you've never seen such a smile. I didn't know this is our first child. I've never had much to do with children. You know, you see them on telly and they're always about seven playing newborn babies. But he smiles with his whole body, like the arms and legs and everything. That's a fantastic feeling. I have to say, it's a lot better than you bastards. I mean, you're warming up a little bit, but I shit you not, you're very difficult. And I thought... And so I basically haven't prepared. And my sister said to me, why don't you do the material about doing comedy for cats and dogs that you did a couple of years back and like 30 people laughed. And, um, although none then. Um, and I said, first of all, it was like 35 people. Um, and secondly, um, I am not such a bloody desperately bankrupt hack that I'm going to drag out the same material. And she went, no, no, I think you should. <laughs> She said, you should go to the pound and practice. And I thought she meant some sort of groovy night spot. You know, because I don't go out at all. In fact, I didn't even before the child. I just, I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, what's this pound place? And she goes, you know, where they keep the dogs. And I went, oh, I get it, you know. Oh, so who's sick of being in a cage? That sort of thing. <laughs> um, but my girlfriend said to me, you, what about the, meta, the Jedi mind trick? I said, that doesn't work. I've tried it on you a dozen times. I'm very attractive. <laughs> You're wearing too many clothes. It doesn't work at all. And I said to her, it's quite aside from the fact that it doesn't work. I'm not going up to 180 people and going, I'm very funny. I just wouldn't have time for my focaccia beforehand. And she said, don't be ridiculous. She said, just do it to the judges. I thought, that's a bloody stroke of genius. Um, not that I'd say to them, I'm a very attractive man and you're wearing too much clothes, I'd do the, I'm terribly funny. But unfortunately, the Meadow Jedi mind trick isn't true, which I'm just going to take a moment to deal with because it annoys me no end. <laughs> it looks good in the movies, does it? Everybody else, everything else about them is stupid, but they're just, that's great. But the other thing that does work in real life is being able to talk like Sean Connery, and I can't do that either. And I find that's a good way to get yourself out of trouble. People will believe anything if you say it in that accent. Okay. I'm a Russian sea captain. You just go, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and what Highlander? I think I'm a 2,000 year old Egyptian. Again, all right. <laughs> Works for me. So far, so good. I reckon you could confidently pop him in a pink t shirt and take him down to wherever they shoot neighbours. I think it's Vermont or something. And he could just go, I'm a 16-year-old Australian teenager. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'd even watch it. I'd even buy his album. <laughs> which I'm sure is in the contract. And get, say, sing me a few bars. You know, I should be so lucky, 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 lucky. I should be so lucky in love. But unfortunately, I'm not lucky. And despite my best efforts, I haven't got your characters to laugh as much as I would have liked. But fuck it, I gave it a go. Thank you very much, you all. Have a good night.